on this episode of the Realmatic Podcast. You oh, don't know what you're trying to get in the end. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's the thing. Y'all want to be like, ooh, I want, I want that. You don't like it, but that's really the facts of it. You trying to get with these dudes because they gonna, they can pay for your hair, your nails, and other BS. Some of them can't do it, though. What? Some of them, that's some of them niggas not going to be uh, successful one day. Hey, but they okay. don't that to So I don't know if it's just that. Because really, really, if she really wanted picture. security and she wanted generational wealth, she would just stay with a white guy. Real Matic Podcast. Since he played it, we might as well talk about it now. Hey, man, hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can talk oh. about it. We're going we to talk about this Drake stuff. Can we just say okay. all of this Drake and Kendrick stuff has really overshadowed every other piece of music and anything else in in like the world right now it feels like did anything you know, else come out huh did anything else come out though did anything else come out or did we four not bats. even look <laughs> i was like four bats, okay bro. he'll be all right party next door no 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 i was like that was that wasn't at the same time though they got overshadowed it got overshadowed, overshadowed by this, bro. Everything's yeah. getting overshadowed by the goddamn rap gods fighting back and forth, man. Mm -hmm. I'm so like, I'm like, dang, I'm drained. My screen time is up by like 18%, bro, because I'm trying to keep up to date. I I'm stressed. I'm like, I'm over this. You stressed? What you stressing for? It's just like, it's just like, bro, I don't know who's going to drop. It's I'm, I'm Last night, I thought it was going to be Kendrick. But no, it came out to be Drake, and then he did the heart part six, and I was like, "Oh shoot, we up! It's Kendrick!" And I was like, "Oh no, it's not! False alarm! This Yo, is Drake!" The way, the way this man was talking in the group chat is crazy. I'm like, "Y'all, I thought it was Drake. I thought it was Kendrick, bro." I'm, I'm I was like, "Heart part six, I'm getting, I'm getting fatigued at this point. It's kind of like there's no winners or losers in this beef. I think that you can say with your argument, like, "Oh yeah, bro killed him, bro exposed him, blah blah." But like at this point, in the beef is like. No, nobody gonna die. Nobody finna, finna be meeting in public to like fist fight. At this point, it's just speculation and like less factual information. And it's like, it's gonna be the core of public opinion. And so at this point, it's like, I get it. But even when Drake dropped that disc last night, I was excited, but I was like, I kind of don't care anymore. I'm like, very fatigued at this point. You don't mean that shit. You just run in your mouth. You ain't care anymore. You said what? You ain't care anymore. I saw, I saw Karen probably like three days ago. I ain't gonna lie. Cause I just felt like I got fulfilled. I, I saw what I wanted to see. I'm kind of, I don't care anymore. All right, bro. Cause that's when it's like when it's the only thing that you see on social media. Every other, every other post or every other comment is on any platform is that. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of tired now. Mm, it was probably I mean... the most it was the most lit three weeks ever, but my nigga, I'm tired now. <laughs> I have a lot to say about this, man. And I really just feel bad for you, bro. I feel bad for you because you're my brother, man. But I know you're a Drake fan. Right. You're a victim. Oh, mm. There we go. CSI. What does that you mean, know? bro? I could, it's I could looking a, bad. I could be in an objective Drake fan. Yeah, but you can't, though. Yes, I can, though. You got to pick a side. But you can't, though. I mean, I've been picked a side, but I could be objective at this point in the beef. Like not I said, really though, because we got as a fan. Sniper, bro. I got fulfilled, bro. My nigga didn't bat down. At least I wasn't the mm -hmm. first nigga to like step a fucking way and be thanking the nigga who dissed me. Like I feel like at this point, it's just like That's one, not... nigga, one nigga played the game better than the other nigga played the game, but they it was both like a, a, a fist fight. So it's like it is what it is, bro. Damn, man, I, I just hate that it's you, man. I really do, man. Cause you're scrambling right now. You scrambling for not, shit. Not you are, bro. You scrambling for shit. What am I talking scrambling? I'm talking about J. Cole. You talking about what J. Cole did? We not How worried about J. Cole, bro. Call, I'm keeping it not honest, worried bro. about J. Cole, bro. I'm keeping it honest, bro. Nah, man. Look, the nigga honest, lost, bro. bro. And honest, I don't even bro. think it's done yet. I don't think this is over. It's not over, but I'm keeping it honest. At this point in the beef, I can care so much. I want us to do a lyrical breakdown of the song, bro. Why? We need to talk about these lyrics. Okay, I just uh, the Drake's both oh, okay. Kendrick Bet. and Drake. Bet. Introduce the pod. Tell the people what the we got. <laughs> before, <laughs> before though, let me just say this, man. It ain't looking too good for Drake, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it ain't looking too good. And I feel bad for Mark because he really been he gonna suffer in this episode, bro. He gonna be suffering, I'm bro. Gonna, I'm not gonna suffer because of the are, bro. You gonna hey. be suffering, bro. How am I suffering? I'm not gonna it's not gonna bother me that much, but I can care really less. Your man's is a pedo. Mm-hmm.
Okay. He's a pedo. Okay. 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 That's not okay. I don't know this nigga, bro. You should not be okay with that, bro. I don't know this nigga, bro. Now you don't know him. I, I never said I did. This shit like, you crazy, could have joined a bro. bro. At a point, it's like, I don't know this nigga, bro. Now you don't know this nigga. I don't. Bro. That's your excuse, bro? Yeah. That's crazy, bro. That's no, it's crazy. not, bro. Look, look man, look. Hey. You ain't got to down these crazy heels, bro. I'm not down. I'm here to bro. save you. As your brother, I'm here to save don't you. Don't save here me, to get bro. You off that I, leg, I have bro. not switched my position. I'm not switching it now. But I'm saying, look, it's a rap beef. We enjoy it. We enjoy the complexity of it. We enjoy the amount of songs that Kendrick has dropped. I know Rock, Rock, Rock can't stop sucking, bro. Dick Rider! He, he, he been enjoying the show. Oh, <laughs> my God. That's good. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. Listen, that's the thing. Listen, 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 <laughs> so I want the fans to know it's not it no person. I love that's my nigga. I love that's my day one. But bro, he been sucking real hard. And I'm gonna you know that's your man, bro. Rep your man. I, I just can't a, enjoy music without you me. know because not the way you've been talking. God. Not at all. Not, not the way you've been talking since this beef started. No, bro, I mean, you've been talking I, like I mean, that, they, bro. It, it, and man, it's been around the ball with Kendrick this whole time. So talk that shit, Kendrick. Talk that shit like the whole time. And I'm like I said, I'm not mad, but like. Bro, I'm just letting the information flow out and letting the natural course of things happen. Natural course, this ain't natural. Science. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You said the beef. You said the beef was over. Goddamn, when when the first dish dropped, and it's like, God damn, like, bro, the beef was over me ass. after. Uh, me <laughs> oh, don't have it, bro. Be more objective. <laughs> he on your ass. My thing was because I, I can't. The beef I was like, over after me. The grams, like. Be more objective. That's all I'm saying. Be more Damn. objective to what? Be to more, what? Be, stop, stop showing your bias. Bro. Stop showing your I'm bias. Gonna, I'm going to wear my <laughs> bias on my sleeve. And that's the, do what he gotta do. that's the problem. Guys, the problem because that means that everything you're saying, I can't take none of that for what a grand Bro, song. understand. Mm -hmm. Look, you're not I'm listening saying. to the, You're not going to listen to the Push ups. I, I, I've given Drake his props for whatever well, he's given us. Push up. Have you? It was cool. You know what I mean? It did what it needed to do. But then the response, the thing is, all of Kendra's responses were there were the right answer. You know what I mean? Like, he said, yo, like, he said was, like, was me, he was family matters, family matters? Bro said the same thing if they were four responses and he did, and they did, he just did it in a different format. Like, you copied and your test again. Did the same thing? He gave us three beat switches for a seven minute song on Family Matters. Okay. What I mean? And gave us a visual. Wanted to be like, what, yo, what I'm, I mean? okay, I will say the hardest thing in this whole beef. Was Drake pulling up the new whole king in the video and sitting there at the table I'm with just, the rice I'm and all the food? Saying, I said, I'm just, just, horror, I'm just saying, this bro, is this it is was just hard because it was like, bro, bro it was that kind of like, I'm gonna stand on business. I'm Drake. I ain't gonna talk bro, to bro, bro, nah, bro. bro. If he would have came to Compton, Ra, if he would have uh, came to Compton, that would have been hard. Nah, Him bro, going home was, is not hard, bro. No, you, you got a Compton. You got Kendrick out here in Compton talking about, yeah, I'm going to be in New Hole King with the fried yeah, rice. Like that there. whole thing. Yeah. You say that you're going to be in my Listen, city. Bro. Nah, bro. I'm going to have the owner rocking my chains in the spot while I'm busting down orange chicken. I'm just Never saying. Like, I'm hard. just saying. Be more Drake objective. I'm just saying. I that get, was trying to assert some dominance. And I, I, get Ken, and I get Kendrick is going crazy. I hope I'm saying. Can we really analyze this rap beef for what the fuck it is? Real, like, real rap. Like, I don't like the biases, the, the racial biases, the color. The racial biases. <laughs> no, like, no. Because like, at a point. He's scrambling. <laughs> no, He's like, scrambling. I'm not scrambling. I'm keeping it. Racial bro. bias. I'm keeping it. Uh, bro, it's a lot of, like, it's like a lot of weird like colorist bias. I didn't see too many niggas' opinions in these last couple weeks that know it's damn there has not been that much about the reps. Like from the real rap niggas, yeah, but but everybody else, nah, bro. It's not, it's not the reason why they don't like this nigga Drake is because for a lot of other shit and then these rap songs right here. And like I said again, Kendrick went crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I was shocked like most niggas when Drake dropped a diss and he dropped a diss right after that. I was up that same night. Yeah, sure. But at a point just the way I, I just like I want all the information to come in. I won't let the rap beef play his natural course. I'm not sitting here saying that Kendrick ain't ain't do his part because I get it. And if you're going to get your OG, I get it, bro. You gotta go kill your OG. I get it. Bro. Like that's, that's, all I, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You gotta bring your best work out there to go kill your OG. I get it. But at the point, this ain't nothing that I did not expect Drake to do. To be honest. Okay, wait, hold on. You just said you said he gotta do his best work. You really think this is Kendrick at his best? 
That's the thing. The, the, I don't the, even the, think the, this is this is Kendrick at his best. This is Kendrick within a time frame making songs. This is Kendrick in a time frame. I thought he was going to be suffering. I think I'm going to be suffering in this conversation. I ain't even going to lie, man. This is a lot of cap, man. I, I'm not really it's a lot of cap. bro, because I can say Because, like, this is Kendrick at his best. Like I said, my yeah. main critique, if anything, yeah. I thought it was going to start way worse than this. If anything, he started with Meet the Grounds first. I'd have been like, yeah, I'm like, damn. I feel like it, even the order, how he dropped the hoes, I, I would have switched the order up just a little bit to me at a point. But it's just like, hey, man, I'm, I'm giving what? him the best takes. I'm listening to the song. I think I would have started with 616 just to like give him a taste I mean, of like I'm, how I'm feeling. But they like, I'm not even going to hold it. 616 would have started it. Euphoria would have been would've... next. Like, hey, yo, let me go ahead and throw this Why, out. Though? If that was the opposite. Why? Meet the Grams was the I perfect I would have flipped them on just the family. Why? Why? Just for the shock Why? value. I feel like I would have hit you with the, the shock value. I would have hit, hit you with Meet the Grams first. 616 dropped at 616 in LA time or whatever. But outside of that, it being like one of Kendrick's like first like actual Instagram posts in forever, it was like what? Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa! That would have been a moment. He's like, "Hey, I'm gonna come and post like how you be posting and playing on IG. I'm gonna start it off here. So since this is the first place you're gonna be looking, because that's what you do all day. That's mm-hmm. the only reason I would have started it there." Mm-hmm. And you said you want you want to play on socials. Let me give you a. Uh, I, I would have just, just flipped the order man. and I just. And I, then I go to like, you. I would have Kendrick. Y'all not thinking, thinking about it. the amount of content that was in Euphoria. Euphoria, bro. Euphoria would have still been the first Ooh. couple tracks dropped. It set the stage. Would have dropped Meet the Grounds first, then Euphoria. I would have like <laughs> even in six sixteen. I don't think he said like a lot of stuff that was like really impactful in that song. Like it was just that's what I said. We need a little dummy tapes. But nah, you can't start off like that, right? You got to start off with a punch. You got to hit him. Yeah, okay. yeah like, hit him like with the Grounds punch though. It was, mm-hmm. but he had multiple punches. That's what I need y'all to understand, bro. Like. I know, man. I know you love Drake, bro. I know. Bro, I'll fuck with Drake, listen, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say the statement. I love Drake, but I don't love Drake enough to not be objective in this beef, though. You're not being objective, bro. I am you're being not, objective. Not, oh, I you're not. just had a whole conversation about switching to disorder. and not It's even. okay to still like Drake, but it's bro. also okay to acknowledge that he's a pedo. Bro, I'm not. That's not has to do me, bro. He's a little pedo. Low key, me, bro. I have seen introduce the pod. Low introduce key. the pod. Let's no, because no, he want he want he want to talk about that so bad. Like, bro, I, we finna get into this shit. I don't know none of that shit. That had nothing to do with me. Don't even think it's, it's all good. I got <laughs> stuff for you. I got stuff for you in this case you wanted me. to try to gaslight me. I got you. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You so can gaslight Rob, but you can't gaslight me. It's not gonna work. <laughs> gaslighting you. It's not gonna I'm work. I'm not gaslighting you. You want to talk about pedos, bro? Go talk about pedos. We're going to go into these lyrics, and niggas is going to be quiet, I bro. I already know, bro. They got nothing to do with me, bro. It's going to be real quiet when we go into hey, these lyrics. I ain't got nothing to do Bro, what I ain't got nothing to do with me, bro? <laughs> Listen, bro. I'm here talking about music. what you got to do with it, bro. bro if bro. you're being objective, you have to acknowledge bro, the truth, These two individuals man. are horrible people, and at the day, we're defending it like literally a woman beater in a pedo. How so, is he a woman beater? Well, where's, how is he the, pedo? where's the footage? Where's we the footage of the pedo? Where? Where? I got you. You want to see it right now? Where? All right, you want to see it right now? I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, saying, brother. Clear cut. If it's not clear cut, I don't need that TikTok shit. If it's not clear cut, (laughs) I'm gonna say once more. I really don't give a fuck. I really, but that's not my man's, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. It is your man's, bro. Stand on that, bro. not like what explanation do you have for this bro stop for that even being the fact that the girl came out 
and literally dispel that whole little shit anyway, which kind of gives your shit. What are you talking ready. about? You ain't yo, you ain't seen okay. shit. There. You late then. Where your okay. evidence at? Did it just come I, out and say? Listen, hey, I just seen it. Okay, so what did she say for the record? She definitely did just come out. If I could find it, it was my phone. Whatever. She did just come out and post said. like on her Instagram. It's like, hey, just want to like throw this out here that yeah. it was no weird shit. Uh, my dad got me the tickets to the concert or whatever it was, and his crew picked her out of the crowd. See, okay. I hadn't seen this part of it where he asked her her age and she said seventeen. That's the part like he like. Yo, Drake probably hit homegirl up. Like, it was like, hey, yo, I need you to post. I'll pay you. You know what I mean? Just right. to, just to try uh, to clear the air. Because think about that. Right. Because, like, you know what I mean? You Her saying something, you know, puts it in the air of like, hey, I'm not offended by this. I was, say but like, the thing is, you did say you were 17. So it does make it still a little weird. Because even Drake, even people's like, ah, damn. I don't know if I'm ready to go to jail yet. Like that's a thing. Like, why you should have been like, that, oh no, nah, sweetheart. You know it's wrong, bro. You know what I mean? Even if you want to like you can still be kind of like, oh no, nah, sweetheart, you too young. I can't be having you up here. But talking about and hey, then, are you thick? Hey, I why you look like twin, 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 I'm not the game what you're saying, but but let's not start with that. Even in there, even in that situation, you could say that's like uh, uh what? What are you hey, talking man. about? Hey man, <laughs> that shit like, let's say it like this. Sus. You looking bro, bro, bad sus, right bro. now, bro. Just it's stop. Sus, bro. Bro. Like let's say it bro. like this. A lot of shit don't have nothing to do with me, bro. Got to do Welcome with me. to Just episode stop, 139 of the Real okay. Maddie Podcast. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm with my brothers, Ben and Marlon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we got a lot to unpack today. Yes, we do. <laughs> God damn it, Y'all not going to gaslight me, man. Look, man. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking this about, This going to be a long episode, bro. Welcome you, bro. back, I know it's not, bro. I'm not going to talk about this shit all day it with is, you, bro. bro. I'm, keep, I'm telling the truth, but I keep it I going showed you a video, and you over here And then, and then the main like, person in the video weird. dispelled the whole situation. It's so not dispelling anything. Kind of basically did. She said she had no problem. She said she went by the room. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, like, bro. Come something strong with that, bro. That's, that's not the. Saying. That's not the come argument. Something, come with something better than that, bro. That's all I'm saying, bro. No, no, like, that's not the argument. I need you to no, understand. No, listen, 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 and I'm not, listen, and I'm not even arguing listen, 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 with your main point. I'm just telling you, her if you saying that, that to me, make it stronger than that. That's her all. saying that does not help his case. But even then, if the I man still the kissed state. her after he found out that she was 17. Ugh. Brother, ugh. What's that? What's that, brother? Okay. That's so crazy. What she post was regarding the video that's going around. I was 17 back then and I'm 31 now. Sure. Okay. okay. Does that math actually add up? No, because then it's like, it's like, how old was Drake? That was 2010. I think he was like 25. So how old was Drake in 2010? Regardless, that's 25. still something. Now, um, I, now I'm 31. This was a concert that my dad took me to back in high school. Drake's encouraged, uh, Drake's entourage actually picked me from the crowd of people, not Drake himself. That doesn't negate anything here. Doesn't I'm just, matter. just saying. By the way, performers always bring up fans on stage. It's part of their show from time to time. It was nothing then. It's still nothing now. Now that I have cleared up the fa the false narratives, I'm going back to study for my law school exam. There, you didn't clear anything up. up. You didn't. You didn't clear anything up. All you did was double down on it that you were like, 17. You were 17. It's 24. It's it a like, bad look, bro. It's still nasty, though. It's a bad look. Yeah, okay. nah, that doesn't help anyone really in that. And it still makes the narrative like there's no false <laughs> narrative being painted. It's still stop being a weirdo, Drake. And you've publicly like been grooming or talking or like acknowledging people in that in a light, in a weird light. So to even say those things is like And it's not like this the only girl, man. Yeah. It's not the only girl, like like I said, we're gonna get into it, man. But before we even get into the whole beef, mm -hmm. should we apologize to J. Cole? No, I'm gonna do this. No, no, fuck that, fuck that. No, oh. we're not apologizing to J. Cole. You was a pussy. You didn't you didn't you didn't want to be a part of no real nigga shit. I'm not gonna be the person that's gonna be <laughs> sitting here. I'm not gonna be the person gonna be sitting here like, oh, maybe you shouldn't have not been in this. Well, he was gonna talk about like because everybody keeps talking about oh, Kenny was gonna this is basketball career in Rwanda. Like at this point, I don't like bro. 
You are a top tier rapper. You was considered in a big three. Let's stop running from your destiny. And it was the time where you really could have your destiny. <laughs> you, they were, they, bro, if it was like the, the one moment that probably never happened again, why the fuck would you run for that moment? Bro, at that point, it's either one kid to kill you or you don't. Or you kill Kendrick or you don't. It's like, what did you have to lose? You ain't had nothing to lose. But your pride, and you lost your pride. So now everybody think you like mid as fuck now. So it's like. Like J. Cole riding around in Dream Dreamville, not giving a fuck. Like that shit is crazy, bro. Like it's just weird. Okay. On my front, as somebody who was there and was like, yeah, F. Cole, he gets a little bit of grace from me right now. Because oh. let's think about it like this. Imagine Cole was actually still in this beat. That'd be lit as fuck. Could, no, it would, it would. <laughs> but then at the same time. If we see how these two are going at it, do you really feel that Cole was gonna be able to keep up with this? Yeah, if he, if he, if he keep hmm. it a hundred, bro. Cole nah. knew his limitations. He said my like, power level is not high enough to fight with these two. No, Y'all got it because that because that creates a whole new, a different J Cole that niggas don't know. Because then that's like you're bringing the bad version of J Cole, but I, I do feel like J Cole could have gotten to that level. I just don't know if J Cole's brand or how he see himself would have managed that. Like he could have did shit. It's not that deep, bro. To me, he could have. Nah. I just like, he was like I'm giving him grace. I'm giving him grace. Do not get me wrong. Like I'm not listening to Cole for a little while. Do not get me wrong. He's still on that list, but you can't. You can't. Be, I have respect it. Get up out because you got to remember. Like when, when you can't be hanging with the ops and then drop the diss song about your man's and then think at any point your man's was not gonna do something about that shit. Like you thought you was cool. Because at a point, some and then they say, "Oh, schoolboy Q or whatever," told him to drop out the beef. It's like, <laughs> it's like, man, you ain't got no balls, man. Like you got to at a point, you got to stand on what you what you did. If you went into the booth and laid that shit, you have to stand on that, bro. I feel like you can't be backpedaling right after and took the shelf of streaming. It looks real weak as a as a pure rap person. It looks weak. It looked weak, but then we never thought that we were actually gonna get to a back and forth battle between Drake and K like at first we were like, dang. You just gonna remove it because we thought there was not gonna be really no action from left in both sides. Like we was like, ain't nothing really gonna happen. Now we're in true war time. Like we've said, oh yeah, we are at war. This is time. This is like that. Like, he, might, he, he might as well still drop at this point because if you ask me, I feel nah, like bro. shit. <laughs> look, no crazy shit is even with him doing what he did at this point. Shit, if you do, if you even give a fuck about your pride, hey, you got this both them niggas at this point. But we know that Cole and ain't gonna happen. Cool. So he had to drop like, out though. He had to drop out because of the fact that um it would have been a two v one. It would have been him and Drake versus Kendrick. And at that point it kind of defeats the purpose because why are you battling if you're not trying to get to number one? You yeah, can't I'm, do I'm, that. You would have to go against Drake that. as well, and he wasn't yeah, gonna yeah. do that. Your that man that. Cole was gonna be fighting for number two, bro. <laughs> he was yeah, gonna... like, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Now <clears throat> he should never left like that. He should never dropped out like that. But he was gonna have to drop out eventually. He was gonna have to. He just, he just should have dissed both of them and his left at that he point. He ain't like that though. You already know that. He ain't like that. No problem, bro. I feel that like would have been a crazy sight to see him <laughs> dissing Drake. Well, yeah, if you like, dissed both of them niggas and then apologize, I'd have been like, okay, it's not your nah. spirit. Like, what? Nah, he should have just kept quiet. So he should have just kept quiet the whole time. Just keep quiet you know you ain't really trying to do this shit for real he was scrambling bro talking about the nigga albums and shit you know you like his albums the bro. first one was the uh, classic the next one they guessed it like oh god should we apologize to cole fuck no oh, no cole is fuck no he yeah. fucked up I, he gets he some understanding from me like i would i don't get no understanding bro i don't I'm get sure. no understanding not for me because as a grown man i understand people talking oh man it's a lot of pressure and you know, the peer pressure and everything was getting to him. At the end of the day, bro, you still chose to sit down and write those lyrics. Excellent. And you chose to put it on the DPS. You ain't had to do that. You could have left that shit in the vault, saved it, waited around, mm -hmm. scoped the scenery out, see how things is going, and then drop your shit. But you dropped it, and then you want to, oh, man, I'm sorry, you know what? This is not my path. I got to get back to my path. Shut the fuck up, man. I'm telling you, Shut Kendrick called that man, bro. That shit weak he said, bro. Go on ahead. And then we got these apologists out here like, oh, man, you know, I side with him, you know, because as a man, it's like. That shit look like, weak. Shut like, up. Like, don't, we side, don't we side with this man? Like, he did, he, he did a weak route. 
Yeah. The worst thing we could be doing as the public, you'd be like, oh, it's okay, Cole. Like, shut up. You know like, what shit. I mean? And that's why I can say with Drake, I respect him because he don't back down, bro. He stands up to the occasion, bro. I respect that. Whether he lose or win, he's still going to fight. That's how he's supposed to be. Like, Cole over here, no, I don't want to do it no more. Then why the fuck you dropped the record <laughs> in the first place? Why you say anything, bro? Like, shut, shut up. up, man. You look stupid. You fucking up your whole album rollout. Yep. Damn. Damn. I'm a fucking fan, bro. Like, this shit crazy, bro. Damn, bro. Mm, mm, mm. But, mm -hmm. all right, man. Let's move on. So, 616 in LA. When y'all yeah. heard that, because that's kind of where we left off at. Um, what did y'all think about that track? When y'all heard it? Oh, uh, yeah, it's been so many songs. I can run it back. Bro, look, Kendrick released Yo, it, everybody. A bit so I can remember, like... Yeah, oh, let, me, let me... Let me run it back. This is survival. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Survival. You want me to play it, Ben? I got you, yeah. I'll just redo it myself. Bruh. Survive. Mm -hmm. No, I'm fucking with you. Yeah, you play it. A few moments later. This one right here will be the underrated one of the whole beat. Yeah. yeah. It will be the underrated, like, the one that people don't remember the most, like how it was with Drake and Charged Up. But, like, this song, like, really is hard like the the lyrics just the just little things within it that make it like mm. Kendrick woke up and was like all right bro you said drop <laughs> let me let me drop for you and just start going bro and that that was the overdrive effect where it went where he really got charged up and said all right I'm dropping again tonight and tomorrow and the day after that because what we're not gonna do is play on my name mm. yeah, yeah this was like a bait that's what this was. It was a bait. So yeah. Um. Then Family Matters came out. Yeah. How y'all felt about that one? Family Matters, in my opinion, I don't think anybody needs to hear it now. Do you? Anyway, actually, need no, to hear good. it again. All right. Good, Marley. You hear Family Matters? No, I, I heard Family Matters enough times. So, so like, Family Matters as a song, I like it. It was the right thing to do. I think that it was another one of those. I really do wish that. He didn't do the spin around and pointing at everyone again. Mm. But he did give Kendrick his kind of moments of shine within it that stood out more than it was within push-ups. Push-ups, it was like, yeah, it's about Kendrick, but you're really worried about everyone else except Kendrick at the time. Um, Family Matters had more of a driving force towards Kendrick outside of the shots at The weekend, Rick Ross, and Metro, and little pieces within it. But... We knew that this was geared towards Kendrick, like the good Sid, Ma good kid, Mad City van, um, talking about him. Yeah, <laughs> it's still it was a long song. There's still a lot of things that were said in there that probably still went over people's head, just were kind of regardless, in mm -hmm. my opinion. And um, but I still feel that it got overshadowed when Kendrick dropped exactly at midnight, barely an hour after. Like yeah. that's the part. It's it's when Kendrick was dropping that really put the, okay, bet I'm bringing it to your front door, your doorstep when, when listening to these songs. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I liked it, man. Family Matters was hard. That shit was dope. You know, and I think that was the first time where he actually threw some real punches and was really mm -hmm. showing us, okay, this is why Kendrick is fucked up. Mm -hmm. So, okay, now we got some shit. Now, like I told y'all, like I'm, Thought it was even at that point. I'm like, damn, family matters, bro. It's shit even. We getting a nice little battle. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about Dave Free being mm -hmm. the father of his one of his kids. He's talking about he, you know, he's a woman beater and all that. It's like, oh shit. You know what I mean? We got some got some real content. Then 16, 20 minutes later, Kendrick comes out with Meet the Grams. Um, I'll just start off by saying Meet the Grams was crazy. Shit was crazy, you know. It is one of those tracks that you know you don't really want to go back to just because of how it sounds. It is very dark and you know menacing. But yeah, when we talk about a rap beef and a, a rap battle, you gotta have one of those tracks. You gotta have something that's gonna make people just feel uncomfortable, man. Like the stuff that he was saying was like, God damn, damn Drake. What the fuck, man? You know what I'm saying? He's talking to his damn son. You start off, dear Adonis. God damn, why are you talking about my son? <laughs> you talking about his son, then you go to his mom, then you talk about his dad, you know, you're a massive manipulator. He's doubling down on the shit that he said from Euphoria. 
and it's like this is what we need. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is what we need. Mm -hmm. How'd you feel when you uh heard that? Come on. I think when we start back from um family matters, I think that it was the perfect type of response that I think all most of everybody was was expecting at this point. I feel like it, he clear cut let everybody know like, hey. I really don't give a fuck about none of y'all problems. And he really made the song directed towards Kendrick in the visualization in crushing the van and just like, just talking about his personal business. So I think at, at the end of the day with family matters, he hit the mark is exactly what we expected is exactly what we needed to, to push the beef even forward. And just like, Hey bro, in Kendrick fashion, bro, Kendrick is going to be the little nigga with, with the AK bro. He's not going to never stop being like a destructor. So it's kind of like him dropping that song right after it was almost po perfect poetry to the energy of what this beef really is. And like, you don't fuck with this nigga. So you got to expect anything at this point in terms of just breaking down his character, breaking down his his whole image to people. And Meet the Grounds was one of them songs where I'm going to let people know how much of a monster that you really are. And he didn't hold that back. And then like, honestly, truly, it's a song that you don't want to hear that bitch more than once. That shit does is a creepy ass song. That's not, and he's not making these songs for you to be enjoying these bitches and want to listen. Oh, he's letting you know that hey, I'm gonna speak my piece, I'm gonna keep it to the point, I'm gonna let you know how sick of a nigga this is, and, and I'm gonna drop do that bitch one more time. Mm -hmm. and I guess in his spirit is like I'm gonna keep doing this shit till, till, till I feel like I'm tired. It's like until I feel like I'm tired, it's real. And that's really what the energy is. Like he said, bro, I keep doing this shit. I got like I got like 18 more in the tub. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no, for real. I will say this too, with Family Matters, I think the issue with that song is the tonality. He didn't sound that serious. And I think that's his problem. When it comes to Drake, he don't know how to get serious, man. That was his issue with this whole beef. Get serious, my but you nigga. Think he, but you think he's really that angry at this nigga for real? Like, I think that's all the part is. You got one nigga who's really mad, and you got one nigga who's like, I'm annoyed, but like, I'm not that, like, I don't know. I think, I think Drake's temperament about this beef is not what niggas might really think it is. I don't think you ever, you're ever going to push. I think it's going to take a lot beyond what has already been said to push that man into a yelling, screaming fit on a track. That's just not who he is as a person. I see what you're saying about him not really being that frustrated at him and stuff, but you got to remember Drake is passive aggressive. Mm -hmm. So if you think about it, the song Taylor made freestyle, he's using an AI Tupac. So obviously he's pretty heated to sit up there and use an AI Tupac, bro. Because you know what's coming with that. You know there's a lot of trouble that you're finna get into when you start using a west coast legend like that mm -hmm. so then he comes with the family matters like i said he's not being serious enough you still talking about rick ross you still talking about you know metro and all that we need bars straight for kendrick bro and it at that point it kind of made it seem because remember i told you it's tied up i said it was tied up it was supposed to be the moment where drake took the lead because that's the time when he's on his offensive end mm -hmm. saying okay you know, Kendrick, you know what I'm saying? You beat your wife, this and that. But I felt like he was scrambling for content in that song because he didn't have enough bars for Kendrick. So that's why he gave bars to other people again. And we didn't need that. That was not what we needed at that time. We needed something specifically for Kendrick, a missile straight for Compton. That's what we needed for that straight moment. For Dead ass, bro. None of them other niggas. We're not worried about the mother niggas. We don't care about Rick Ross, man. We don't care about the weekend and all that. We don't care. You can address them niggas later. But right mm -hmm. now, you need to aim at K dot like straight yeah. fire. Then meet the Grams. He's talking about how he has um a daughter, 11 year old daughter. Now, now which was with this 11 year old daughter thing. Even if it's not true, the scary part about Kendrick's writing is that it becomes true. <laughs> All right, that's brother. the part. That's like think about. I ain't never. I ain't never that shit was true one bit. And at a point that that the that, that Drake basically said, bro, it was the fake ass rumor anyway that we did it on purpose. It's like, hey, you ran. He ran with that bitch. This is when things start getting really weird. Right after this, this song. Is this is because mm -hmm. now the game's in shambles. We're like, hold on, does Drake really have a kid? There's a whole thing. Yeah. Does Kendra, if it is fake or whatever, does this take away from that song? No. 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 I don't think it does. Because outside of even Not if you take one. that one verse out, yeah. mm -hmm. you still got some high level rap disrespect going yeah. on here. 
You yeah. talk to my mama, you talk to my son, you talk to me, my dad. You literally just said, meet this group of really pieces of trash people. Mm-hmm. And sadly, kids are in the mix of this and having to be around these pedophiles and weirdos. He said, your daddy ain't got no discipline. Go get a gym membership. Don't uh, don't just do it with he your said, daddy. I did. wish your granddad wore a condom. Like, Man. Those it's are crazy. disrespectful lines. When you think back to real, like other rap beefs in those moments, like Pac is happy in his grave. Like, yeah, I see, yeah, you doing the right thing, my boy. They put it, put it on wax. Tell them, <laughs> tell them. So they were saying that you know apparently Drake had a mole for Kendrick that gave him fake information. Do y'all believe that or what? Sure, he did. The now, the thing fact- is, even with this daughter conspiracy, right, mm-hmm. back in, like, 2015, there was already a rumor that Drake did have a daughter. And mm-hmm. the timeline matches up to this date. Because I think at that time, she was, like, supposed to be five years old or something like that. Mm-hmm. Or two, something like that. Yeah, it was nine years ago. Yeah. So, it matches up. But um, even if, like you said, Rod, if we took that part out of it, that's not even the most egregious part. The most egregious part is those allegations, you know, calling him a pedo and saying that OVO has got some shit going on in the background. And I MC think it was very telling when Drake made a post about the daughter. It's like, yeah, but he called you a pedophile, bro. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie. Can, I ain't gonna lie. Can, I ask, can I say one thing that's really objective? Yeah. How do you respond to pedophile claims, though? Like, <laughs> like uh-uh. I was all the time, like, <laughs> do, my mom, do my mama gonna say no? Not my son. Like, like who? Who's the person who gonna like? Like, how do you say it? No, uh, not me. Uh-uh. Not like, me. you know, I don't, I don't see how we like. I, I get it. This is like, how exactly do I say that? Why in that last, in the last song, he addressed it, but at a point, even then, it sounded like, did you really have to? I guess, like, I feel like it's gonna sound weird either way that you were addressing it. And then he didn't even really like address it in the big scale. He just brought the main one niggas been talking about. He threw Millie Bobby Brown in that bitch, and it's like Millie Bobby, like, huh? That looks even more weird because it's like you didn't like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how you like defend that but it doesn't make it look any less weird though i think that was the change of tide throughout this entire beef right after meet the grams i felt like that was drake's moment to be like oh shit this is getting serious like let me get off the internet you know what i'm saying let me get off social media for a little minute let me try to cook something up that's gonna make this make sense because these are some serious allegations and like we just played there's videos out against you my nigga like there's footage that we can go to. So I, I know a lot of people are like, well, Kendrick says shit and, you know, where's his proof at? It's already proof that exists. It's already proof out there that exists. Yep. And it's like, how do you come from that? Like, how do you defend yourself out of that? That's why you had to keep quiet. You got to keep quiet. If I was Drake, I would just keep quiet. I wouldn't even talk about it. I wouldn't even talk about it, y'all. That is true. <laughs> like, what you going to say? There's nothing you can say. Freaky ass nigga. <laughs> then after that, <laughs> nah. I think it was like a day after. Or no. I don't think it was, was a day the after. Next day, it was, bro. It was the same night. It was that same yeah. night. Yeah. yeah. Not like us came out. Not like us came out. So I want to go over a couple lyrics, man, because that shit crazy. But while I'm looking at the lyrics, how did y'all feel about that one though, man? Yeah, mm. we needed a bop. We needed <laughs> a bop during this beef. I needed something to get right to. I don't care. Mm. No, this is the one, the main one I didn't give a fuck about. You ain't like this one. So many people, so many people, mainly raw ho ass, but one, one, <laughs> one, one of niggas to really like give a fuck about it. This is the one I actually was cool not even trying to listen to. I know what was in it. I know what was saying. I know the main part. So you ain't listening to it. I, 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 I know y'all niggas care about OVO. I get, like, I get it, though. OVO. Cool. I'm good off that. It's cool. I ain't even mad at you because you know this I, was the stinger. This is the one that really hurt. Nah, nah, this, I, I this, 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 this is the one. This the one where it was like, oh yeah, I'm I'm cool. I'm, <laughs> I'm chilling, like because at a point you gotta clown a nigga a little bit. So I'm a little bit. I'm not finna sit here and like knock this moment because like I said, you gotta clown a nigga, bro. I get it. I ain't got shame him. Bring back public shaming. Oh man. Like, that's really what it was. Like bring back public shaming on niggas for real. Like 
That's just crazy, though. Yo, I was just not ready for that song, bro. Like, it was just such a full one, like, 360. Hey, niggas, bro. Uh, from Meet the Grams, bro. Because I was, not, I thought we were going to keep getting these little dark random raps. Then we got this West Coast classic going on. I said, what type of mustard? DJ Mustard, where you come from? And then that's another thing, too, bro. Niggas is slept on the fact that that's the first time Kendrick has rapped like that. That's yeah, a Bay Area flow, bro. Yeah, like, it really is. We got a classic one with that, bro. Yeah. We ain't never heard him rap like that. That's hard, yeah, right. bro. On a DJ Mustard beat? Shit, nigga. So he I said, uh, I think one of the standout lines was... Um, Fucked on Wayne girl while he was in jail. That's conniving. Then get his face tatted like a bitch apologizing. Crazy. And I know niggas is like, mm, you know, whatever. There's no proof of that. There is. Was, uh, what are we talking about? That first. Of all. So apparently, in, in the book, there's a part in the book where you say that he came in and told you that he had smashed one of your girls. Oh, your girl. and he yes. up. Oh, I wasn't worried about that. I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, I was just, you know, that's just how life go when you locked up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. But she's done. You moved on. Life is good. Life is good. Will you rap about that? Do you think it'll end up on a? A song maybe you two might, you know. No, no. No. She still be texting me and stuff, you know. They stop texting me too. For real. Cause it still hurt. Does it really? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But you now I remember though. Yeah, he wrapped I don't know who he wrapped that. Um there's video though. He he did it though. He did it. Wayne said it. Now, however that situation transpired after that. It is what it is. Y'all niggas know Drake, Drake be fucking everybody, bitch, apparently. So, and I feel like, it is, but there's never been a point where, where you see Wayne like disowning that nigga or Wayne t talking bad about this nigga. Even in that moment where he's talking about something that Drake did, Wayne don't talk bad about Drake. So at a point, it's yeah. like, however they, however they handle that shit, that's however they handle that shit. But hey, this is, you look at this example, bro. Drake, Drake will slime you out, bro. Drake will take your hoe. He'll do that shit. And like, look, I'm not gonna be, I gotta be objective, right? It's like, for, some of these parts in his beef, they're, they are true. This man is not a good human being. This man be doing some real slimy shit. And hey, man, I can't get mad at other niggas getting mad at him for that type of shit. Because, like, he did it. And he know he do it. He'll, he'll say he did it. Like, so I don't know, dog. Nah, he won't say he did it. Nah, sometimes he will say he did it, though. I don't remember that. What would Pluto do? He was talking about Metro shit like, like, he, like he was the way he did that shit. <laughs> Then he said, you run to Atlanta when you need a check balance. Let me break it down for you. This is the real nigga challenge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You call Future when you didn't see the club. Uh, Little baby helped you get your lingo up. 21 gave you false street cred. Mm -hmm. Thug made you feel like a slime in your head. Quavo said you can be from Northside. 2 Chain said you good, but he lied. You mm -hmm. run to Atlanta when you need a few dollars. No, you're not a colleague. You're a fucking colonizer. Hey. How we feeling about that, man? He didn't lie. He has come to Atlanta and Houston. Houston for, and things. Hey. hey, man. For a lot of influence over the years yeah. and taking the the talent of that city and trying to shape it to his own, you know, yeah. uh, whim. I'm not saying that we got bad songs out of it, you know what I mean? Like, there, there are great songs that came out of it, but if we really look at, like, hey, yo, if we protected Atlanta and protecting, like, that kind of culture, y'all let Drake come in here and basically take y'all and say, hey, I can get y'all bigger. Just, just, just show me how you're doing it, because I can take you out of the country. I can take you overseas, because that's a big brag of Drake's always, is y'all can't even, what is it, the line is, uh, Y'all can't get out of America for nan. Like, yo, you're trying to go to Japan. Like, I'm big in Japan. Like, those are things mm -hmm. that people want. And he's like, I can give you this as long as you just give me a whole new sound that keeps me alive. Give me the street cred. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where we got the Migos feature. That's where we got What a Time to Be Alive. That's where we got, you know, the Young Thug features. Like, all that yeah. shit was planned. But, but that's what I'm saying. His thing, though, right? Remember that. The, the one part about this is to be able to realize is... I get the perception of who he is to these people and what he's benefited from these people. But at the same time, y'all niggas benefited from him too. 
y'all I can't y'all I don't get that at this point in, in the timeline y'all got y'all money y'all made it y'all made it sit and y'all don't need bro like y'all needed niggas in 2010 12 2009 2013 but I need y'all to recognize this without his inclusion some of y'all niggas would look a little different without his help some of y'all hits would look a little different and Ross hey Weekend, some of y'all niggas, hey man, I'm not gonna sit here and, and say like he ain't did what he did, but don't be talking like this man does not have the credibility for what he's brought to the game. Like he's here for a reason. Y'all niggas are attacking one nigga for a reason. So I just I want to say let, let's keep it, let's keep the shit consistent. That's the only thing I'll be asking. Like, don't be acting like Drake ain't Drake, Drake ain't here in this position for a reason. Like, like y'all can call him culture worship all y'all fucking want, but y'all brought him to y'all hoods, y'all brought him to y'all parties, y'all let him welcome in y'all cities, y'all. He was there in, in the pitches, in the clip with the homies. He wasn't a vulture like, back playing, then. Playing with OL. Like, y'all niggas did that shit. Like, y'all can't look at him now and be like, you know what? Man, the game up, like, like, the, like, the shit didn't matter when it didn't matter. So why the fuck does it matter now? You see what I'm saying? Like, if y'all got your own bitter resentments and shit like that, that's cool. But, like, just keep the shit consistent. That's the only thing I'm saying. And niggas don't want to keep shit consistent because they, they hate Drake more than they hate the facts. And it's like... Shit, that should be weird. The only thing is, I mean, it's Kendrick saying it, and Kendrick never really needed Drake but, in his career. But, but, but he did, but Drake was included in, in his career, though. He was, Drake, he was. He was. Career. Yeah. So at the point, it's like, still thing applies? Probably not in as much in Kendrick's case, but the same situation applied. Does Drake, I mean, well, let me ask you this. Do you think that Drake likes to put people on? Do you think he likes to kind of be the first in my, I'm gonna have, I got two perceptions of that. In my fan perception, when I was coming up and I was listening to Drake, the way I, it was viewed to me, it felt like when Drake put, would put the feature on your song or Drake put his inclusion on your track, he was giving you the push to take that Drake inspired track and use that as your catapult to transition onto your other shit. And a lot of situations, the way I viewed it, it did seem like that. Now, so for some of them niggas who it didn't work for, okay, I get it. The Drake song was the biggest song in your career, or it might have negatively affected your career, or your relationship with Drake after that did not do the same thing. But at that point, I felt like Drake, was, both of y'all was beneficial in this relationship. You see what I'm saying? Drake is trying to do regional sound and Drake is trying to let to lend his voice to like be on the next hottest song. And a lot of times it worked out. So for the for the niggas who were mad about that, it's like I said again, y'all, a lot of y'all niggas, I, so many of y'all niggas benefited more than hated that situation. So it's kind of like don't look at him as a colonizer now when y'all brought the y'all brought the colonizer with you and put him in your camp and put him in your city. And it's like, where where was that shit? 10 years ago, 15 years ago. You know what I'm saying? It's been too many years of shit not being that way. So it's just weird. I mean, you got, I love McConan. Um, he found him. Then. Like, like one, I said, we've like, benefited. Like, one nigga, though, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, on one side, we've benefited from Drake being in Atlanta and doing certain things. Like we would, there are some hits and some songs and collabs that we would never have really gotten. If Drake didn't come through. So I'm not mad all the way at him. But we also do have to acknowledge if we really look at how it is, Drake was also using a lot of these people to but it was get a a build new fan base. But it is music. It is music. So there's like like Kendrick can say this all he wants. It's not wrong, but you know, like, bro, you know people benefited from this. Yeah. I just feel like Taking the taking the colonizer, or you're a white. I told you this is the color of shit I'm talking about. I feel like if he was a dark skinned nigga, y'all wouldn't say this shit. If he if he was a regular non half mixed nigga, if Drake was a regular whatever whatever, y'all would not say it. I feel like in those situations, I do wonder. I do wonder if Drake wasn't what Drake looked like, would y'all give it for the same look? I feel like half the damn problem be just because of what he looked like, what he represent, what his mama looked like. I feel like y'all niggas be more offended about that shit than like what the fuck is actually being said or what the fuck is actually being done. I feel like that Atlanta shit, while it could be true, I feel like a lot of Atlanta niggas did benefit off the Drake package more than hated that Drake package. That's all I'm saying. The only thing is, we don't have too many artists that kind of operate like Drake where he's found new talent consistently over time, scouting for new artists and stuff. We don't have too many um, examples of that. I think the closest thing to it, ironically, is Diddy. That would be the closest thing to that. But, <laughs> like, but um, can you hate? Can you hate on your your top artist 
always trying to look for the next new sound and putting the new the younger the younger new sound on. And I think that y'all say Drake and music is too young, but I feel like he's always going back. He always going to the youth to, to, to find where the next click at. I feel like I don't know. I see that perception a little bit different because I feel like that's how you keep your reign going. That's how you keep your styles going. I feel like niggas that hate that because they they weren't the ones that was able to do it. That's hmm. how I feel about it. So then later on we get the heart part six. Drake drops the heart part six. What y'all thought about it when y'all first heard it? Man? She pissed me off, man. Mm. And he really took the heart series from Kendrick. Yes, nigga. Yes, nigga. Deal with it. You want to take the timestamp? Deal with it. Bro, a timestamp is so like broad and vast. No, bro. no, no. He can make a, no, bro, no, he can make a 617 yeah, in, in, in Compton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't make it. would still yeah, hit. Yeah, yeah. You are scrambling. Don't do that. I'm scrambling. Think about that. You know who the Kendrick fuck do this No shit. longer make a heart oh. part six. If he makes the heart part six, it has to be a straight diss to get to Drake. Or like, you know what I mean? Like, you I, like took, I took, you took my, my shit. Heart. You took my shit. I took your Bye. shit, bro. It is what it is, bro. Fuck, I'm fuck the sixth guy. Six. Don't even use the number six. He ain't never gonna. He ain't never gonna drop the heart <laughs> no more. That shit. Just deal with it, bro. Mm. That hurts, yeah, bro. Man. That truly hurts. No, because y'all niggas thought I was not gonna respond again. So I, I'm just letting you know, bitch. I can keep doing the two. It might be at a slower pace, but I can keep doing the two. And like I said again, bro, it's like Drake is not worried. That song was literally telling you, like, I'm not worried in, in the slightest. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know. <laughs> it, it, this gave me the sounded... same vibe as um what's the shit called? Seven minute drill from J. Cole, man. No way. It was yeah, it was like mm. I'm rapping just because I gotta rap. I'm doing nah, it. That's, that's felt like he was not worried. <laughs> yeah, it didn't feel like he really wanted to do that. It didn't feel like he really wanted to say those things. And I don't think Drake just... care, bro. I don't do think, think Drake that. Care right do you think Drake was trying to wave the, the white flag? Or he was like, bro, I'm done. He's getting there. He's picking it up. He didn't really like wave it, but he got it in his hand right now. That's what this I'm track is like. Because... because I'm telling you, Ed, we got to understand what the white flag means. I just honestly think, bro, just don't give a fuck about this beef enough. To really like, I feel like there was a point where uh, some of the shit you can't say that though. Well, that's not cool. He, he, he gives a, he gives a, he, he gives a fuck enough to like respond to the beef, to respond to the allegations, and respond to what's said. But I don't think he give a fuck to keep dropping twelve diss records this month about the shit like Kendrick is. He's not doing that shit. I don't see it. I don't see yes, it. I feel like bro. he. I give. I give a fuck enough to mention it, but I'm not gonna be going to death about this shit like you are right now. And like I said, however you perceive that and look at that, that's a fair assessment. But I feel like. Bro, I ain't lie. I got love for T, and I ain't even a nigga making a damn song. I'll get tired too. Like you dissing me, go crazy. But at a point, it's like you know, I can respond, or I can just literally just do a J Cole. But nobody respects the, the J Cole, so at that point, it's kind of like I got to keep responding half ass because you want a dance, and I don't want to dance with My you. Bro. Thing is, wasn't he subbing him for years though? He was subbing Kendrick for years. He wanted to smoke, bro. We can't act like mm -hmm. he didn't want to smoke. He wanted to smoke for years, he want, bro. Listen, he wanted to smoke. It's time. But, but I, I guess ain't trying it, to hear that shit. I'm not trying to hear that. Oh, he he really smoke, but I think at this point, y'all like, gotta stop with that shit, man. No, we gotta bro. be more intentional, man. As men, yeah. bro, we gotta be more I, intentional. I think, bro. I think the intentional has reached it. Reaches definitely reaches peak. Hey, that's oh, on man. him, bro. He gotta live with the consequences of it, losing it, his it beef. Is, it, it is. Gotta live with that shit, bro. Look, hey. man. I I'm I'm gonna say this. Kendrick need to go ahead and spin the block on Gold Link too now. Fuck out of here. I'm no, just saying, no, don't no. don't come out of the cut and say nothing, bro. And at champagne pop, get out. Don't worry about it. Fuck about no. Get out of here. Yeah, don't worry about that nigga. I'm just saying, I need a straight gold link now. No, like he's going to catch no, one. Ron, no, he Ron. deserves it because I just don't mess with the gold link's image right now. You diss him. I'm better. Yeah, for real. I'm better off dissing my damn self. Fuck this. You shit. diss him. I'm better off. He gonna respond to you. Diss gold, gold link and like I don't know. This is really left field, but gold link posting the uh the followers of Whitney. Uh, not following Kendrick and following Dave Free, I was like, that too. Uh, that's not up. evidence, y'all. That's not evidence. I'm like, where'd you come from, bro? Like, for just, instance, like, if you're with a girl and your girl is an artist, you're probably not gonna follow her either. Why do you need to follow her? You with her. If you need to talk to her, you can talk to her. And the nigga Kendrick don't even post shit. I can see if he was posting heavy, then okay. The nigga don't even post on Instagram. So, yeah, no, she's not going to follow him. What does she need to follow him for? Not she got his phone him. number. Literally. <laughs> she lived with the nigga. Like, that's not mm -hmm. real evidence, bro. It's not. Day free, you know, just look like a, a nice guy, you know? 
Just being nice. Was like, eh, he had Type to go. I'm, I'm tired of it, bro. Go leave, okay, go bro. ahead and go fold, bro. He pissed me bro, off. You, you go diss him, bro. <laughs> bro, go, bro. We're gonna make that beat. Go leave, pissed me off with that. I was like, where'd you even come from, bro? A rappers be just trying to hop into stuff just to get some clout, bro. And that's the part that's blowing me. It was like, where'd you come from? You don't got no post on your page. You only post on your burner account. And it's always super weird junk because you want to get out of the limelight because you folded for, uh, because you wanted to diss Mac Miller. And everybody was like, bro, shut up. Who are you? Goofy. Nigga Drake said, you waited for this moment. Overcome with desperation. We plotted for a week and then we fed you the information. My daughter that's 11 years old, I bet he takes it. You thought about giving a fake name or a destination, but you're so thirsty, you're not concerned with investigation. Instead, you went to Vantage Studios, a celebration. You got to learn to fact check things and be less impatient. Your fans are rejoicing, thinking this is my expiration. Even the picture you use, the jokes and the medication, the Maybach glove and the drug you use for less inflation. Master manipulator, you've been on the speculation. You dumb and reactive, nigga. I'm petty with dedication. What do y'all think about that, man? Bruh. Drake tried it. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. Drake Maybe. tried it, bro. Yeah. Y'all think he, he set him up? It. Yeah. It's B still. It's a no for me, man. I don't think he set him up, y'all. To be honest with you. Because you got to think, man. If I'm going to set you up, if I'm going to give you some fake information, I'm going to go all the way with it. And I'm going to record that shit. So when it comes out, I can be like, yeah, we got this nigga. <laughs> mm-hmm. We got him, boys. He didn't do none of that. No phone calls. No messages. I, I would have liked to see like some text messages from like the, the mole. And like you so know? we knew Nothing. that should have been the cover. Like who's hey, the yo. mole? You know what is I'm it, saying? Who is the mole? The mole should be able to speak up. The mole should be no. like, Yeah, we got this nigga. I went to LA, da 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 da. None of that. We don't have none of that. No confessions, no nothing. I think Drake is he just doing yeah, he just playing it smart. He saw what was on Twitter. It's like, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Mm. Stupid ass. What about the bones we dug up in the excavation? And why isn't Whitney denying all of the allegations? Because Whitney why don't she... post. <laughs> why is she following Dave Free and not Mr. Morale? He isn't though. You haven't seen the kids in six months. The distance is wow. How would you know that, bro? Everybody got. <laughs> everybody got. Everybody got information, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, it really ain't even been six months. Six was just perfect because he's the six guy. Like I think now, he, he has... oh, I don't do that. <laughs> you crazy, you crazy. Hey, you behind it, bro. Yeah, it probably was right, only one month. My man in album mode said, "Hey, baby, I'm gonna be back. I'm in New York for a week, for a month." Six months. I need six months. Now, speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now. Mm-hmm. The Epstein angle was the shit I expected. TikTok videos you collected and dissected instead of. Being on some dissect or instead of being on some disdirect shit, you rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit. My mom came over today and I was like, Mother, ah, mother, ah, mother. <laughs> that shit nasty when you're reading it. Ugh. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, wait a second. That's the one record where you say you got molested. Now, let's stop right here. Because the nigga did not say he got molested. If y'all go to the song, that nigga never said he got molested. Oh, yeah. man. He, might he not didn't say that, that, though, Mark. I know that, bro. That's what I'm happens saying. when the song oh, wasn't yeah, good bro. and you just didn't want to finish it. You were like, I feel like. Bro, I'm like, bro, it's 10 of y'all writing this shit. Why y'all couldn't get this right? <laughs> y'all couldn't sit there and listen to the song for real? It's the 10 of y'all as well. Like, come oh, on, man. No, not one of y'all was no, like, hold on, y'all. I don't, I don't think that's what I don't know, gang. None of y'all said that shit. That's the thing. There are a lot of people who did not listen to Mother Eye, and they're like, "Yeah, Dre said he got mol- Kendrick got molested." So that's the story that's gonna run now. That's bad, man. It's bad writing. You're you know what I mean? This you're fucking up your disc when you do shit like that because it's right there in front of you. I can see if this was some shit where we didn't know about it, mm-hmm. and he was pulling this up. It's right there, bro. Yeah, no, just listen to what he's saying. <laughs> oh man, he said. This is about to get so depressing. This is trauma from your own confessions. This is when your father leave you home alone with no protection. So neglected. <laughs> That's why these pedophile raps and shit you're so obsessed with is so excessive. They're acting like it's so aggressive. But you just never known affection. I don't want to diss you anymore. This really got me second guessing. Touch my body by Mariah Carey play. You probably start reflecting. 
I never been with no underage. I never been with no one underage, but now I understand why this angle that you really mess with. Just for clarity, I feel disgusted. I'm too respected. If I was fucking young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested. I'm too famous for this shit you just suggested. So he's saying he's too famous to be a pedo. Be a pedo. That's his rebuttal. That's the sense. That's the sense. Hey, man. I don't got much response to that. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is just feel not... how y'all feel about that, but you know, I got no response to that. Yeah, this man. Is not good. I um, uh, I don't know, man. I'm just like Drake. It's okay to it's okay to hang up the hang up the coat, bro. Mm. Go ahead, go take a break. Relax. Go chill out, bro. Relax, it's, relax. it's okay. Let relax. Kendra drop one more time just to go ahead and get the execution shot, the last shot, and let's go ahead and end this. Relax. We're in round, what is this? In in round three right now? Probably. About round three. Probably, yeah. Kendra's probably going to drop tonight. Not even going to hold you. <laughs> Not even going to hold you, bro. Yeah, I need it. You I took Sunday it. off, bro. I thought it was going to be a Sunday service, but, you know, it's okay. I need it. Yeah, step on that nigga. Yeah. Step He's going to hit him one more bro. time and just be like, okay. So you're done. He on the ground now. He finna step on him. Oh yeah. Yeah, he finna go ahead and step on him. Cause this is not how you respond, bro. You too famous. That's your reasoning as to why you're not in jail. That's literally the reason why you wouldn't be in jail. Damn, he really think y'all stupid. Mm -hmm. And then gives us a whole conversation at the end, bro. Yeah, like come on, bro. Was it was he talking that shit to me? Because as a Kendrick fan, definitely. He was, definitely he was saying he was really saying, fuck you, bro. You know when a nigga like, start talking, you know he gassed out, bro. You know he exhausted at that point. Nigga start talking yeah. to you on the track, bro. Uh, tired. Remember, remember when Logic talked on the track, bro? For mm -hmm. eight minutes, bro. Nikki, Nikki did it. Niggas is tired, man, when they start talking. He sounds so deflated. It's fine. Man, that shit crazy. Mm -mm -mm. You thought you lived D flat, D major. <laughs> I don't even want it. No more, bro. No more. <laughs> we're kind of, we're currently in the finishing. I feel like we're in the final legs of the rap civil war. Yeah. Um, Metro jumping in here with BBL Drizzy is so random. BBL Drizzy. Because he, 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 he wants to be included, even though all he could do is make some fucking drums. This is Vex. He, that's all he can do. So it Metro, is an interesting so Metro perspective Metro, for Metro bro. to do. You know what I mean? Throw out, throw a beat to the public and say, hey, all the Drake haters in the world, go ahead and just rap on this. And I'll give you a free beat. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm happy that Metro didn't try to get in the booth and make this any weirder than it already is. You know? Um, Rick Ross and his commentary is so random. Like, I... Whatever, Ross. Thank you so much. For hey, but what a red button that though. It ain't bro, get, what it is the red it. button? Ain't get pushed yet, dummy. Uh, Why? I think he ain't got it. one, bro. <laughs> that, no, the he ain't got part, one, bro. The part uh, six one, is the red button, bro. He ain't got one. <laughs> he ain't got one? He ain't got one, bro. He was lying, bro. Yeah. He, he was catching up. Drake do be lying, y'all. But that's my thing. My, in my opinion, the red button was Family Matters. And then he's like, mm, I did it. I feel like that was his red button, his big boy. Like, I'm dropping a music mm -hmm. video with it. Because you got to think. He was like, look, day free, you know, you're a woman beater. That was his nah, red button, bro. I don't think that's the red button. Nobody was ever thinking that Kendrick was beating on his wife, bro. Nobody ever said that shit. But I don't think that that's your red button. I think he would have a lot worse. I mean, was... wouldn't he have done it now in the hard part six? Yeah. We're in final legs, bro. <laughs> I, I don't... You know he sound like, man, I'm tired of this shit. Y'all can have this. That's what he's saying, basically, in this track. Mm -hmm. Y'all can have it, man. Mm. Good. They not like us. <laughs> like us. Yeah. So if you're Kendrick, right, and you hear the part, the heart part six, what are you thinking now? What are you thinking? I want Kendrick to address the woman beating thing now. At nah. this point, I just wanted to say something. He's about not. Just... He's not. And that, there's and another thing too. So um Whitney's brother mm -hmm. was on social media, you know, bigging up Kendrick. So people were saying, well, if he really did beat his wife, why would her brother yeah. do that? My so, my brother-in-law wouldn't hype me up if I was out here beating You want him to address it, though, Raw? But then the question is... I want... I think I want him to address it. I want him to say... Spin. You can't spin that. How do you spin yeah. that? 
can't spend that without just saying no. I didn't do it. You know, like, you, you know what you should do. You know what you should what? do. Get Whitney on the track. Mm, now you can't do that. You can't do that. Oh, please, bro. Get Dave yeah, Free on the yeah. track. Just get somebody to talk. Like you want to talk, Drake? I got you. My bad. Hey, y'all. Let me put my pen down and just let these people say what they gotta say. I would agree with you, bro. If we actually believed it, but nobody oh, really believes I, it, bro. I, I, no, nobody no. thinks he beat his wife. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> no, you don't. No, yes, you I, don't, bro. Yes, I do. That little ass, peaceful ass nigga is not being. No, I, I do. I, I definitely look. I will. We, bro. Okay, he's an alcoholic. Do not we, get me wrong. That's no, a little midget. Bro, little bro, bro, bro. Ron, I want you to pause right, right, right here. We don't know these people. So, Edis, I'm going to say this once more. We don't know these people. He might be beating the, beating the whatever. I has, I has whatever. Hey, yo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, no, God, I'm about to say shit way worse. I'm like, look, man, we don't know these niggas. At the end of the day, it's like, when it's about the music, I can talk about the music. When it's about the real hard allegations, all I can ever think of, think of them is allegations. Until I see the proof, like, Biggest day playing my face. I can't like. I can't be so like. So then, after you saw the video with Drake kissing the seventeen year old, yes. How do you feel about that? I feel about it how anyone would feel about it. I feel like, oh, you know, despite what he may say, bro, you have done things to allude to the rumors or allude to the allegations. Now, like I said again, is it the most concrete proof of you doing worse shit than that? No, but at the same time, it it doesn't excuse what you have already done. I'm not giving, and I'm not giving like a like like an excuse for what he's doing, but I can obviously see that like he's complicit in these activities. But like mm. I said, again, the only thing difference between Drake and Kendrick is Kendrick is not as public as Drake, so it's kind of like yeah, it's easy to pick on a nigga who you there's evidence everywhere of nigga doing shit, but we don't know what the fuck Kendrick do when we're not when he's not talking to you. See, Kendrick control his own his his narrative a little different. So at a point like unless Kendrick told you his damn stuff, you don't know what the fuck bro. That nigga don't post. You don't know you don't, like none of his people post. You don't know what the fuck he got going on in his own personal life. So at a point it's kind of like, hey, that nigga might be a really an asshole for real. But would you ask that though? Right. But no. But even in terms of a rap beef, it's all about narrative. How do you construct that narrative against Kendrick? I think that Drake. Not- I think Drake has. Drake doesn't have the most deep narrative, but he constructed a great narrative enough to the point where it, is it like killing Kendrick's career? No, but I do respect the fact that you're letting it, you're basically saying like for all the shit you saying about me, you are not no saint either. You be talking about all these things, but but then look at who look who you lay with. Look at the activities that you're in. Look at the situations that you're that you're in. But you're so worried about what the fuck I'm doing. And like I said again, it don't really change anything. But it's the fact that you're you're not just allowing a little midget to keep poking the bear and keep saying you this, you this, you this. like you hate this nigga, bro. We get it. But at a point, it's like you're not on saying either. I was like, keep the information consistent. But at the same time, for both of these niggas, we ain't got nothing that's super super concrete to, to be one to X out one of these niggas. So at this point, it's kind of like we got these jabs that ain't, ain't create no knockout yet. Yeah, no. like. Well, well, whether you said Drake lost, and like I said, oh, that, that's really that's gonna how it go. Kendrick killed Drake in his beef. That's it, though. Did anybody die? Did anybody really lose anything? No, you just know that niggas were sparring. This is a, this is the deep ass. This is the most deep sparring match you didn't ever witness in your life. And has it gotten to messy places? Yeah, but it, like I said again, there's no kill shot yet. So you know, I don't even think Kendrick pushed the red button, y'all. Neither. I don't think nobody did. I really don't Drake think nobody did. did. I don't I think, think Drake had touched it yet. You got to think about it, though. That ain't how you respond. That's how he respond, bro. Sometimes he you actually, like that response, though, just as a fan. Like, did you like how he responded on the part part six? As a fan, I think responding is a lot more sufficient for me than what you than what you said in your response. I feel like at this point, you addressed the, the little pedophile allegations that I like how you do it. That shit could have been a lot better, but you did not run from it. You did address it because niggas would have been saying, oh, you did, you ran from that shit. I feel like at this point, like. And it was the fucking memes, man. The social media memes fucked them up, man. Everybody different, bro. Fucked them up, man. He should never address that shit. Different, bro. He was so quick to be like, yeah, I don't got no daughter. Ha. You're a liar, Kendrick. Bro. But we like, okay, but what about that pedo shit, though? Yeah, he addressed (laughs) it. But, but, but listen, the, on the other side, the other wow. side, the other side hasn't addressed anything about nothing yet. So yeah. at the point, it's like I can get mad at how my how he responded, but like the other side ain't really talking about none of that shit. They only 
They're only his kid are only solely fo focused on tearing down Drake, but he hasn't made any of these bad claims disappear. So at a point, it's like, who, who would I rather be? The nigga who's dissing you and still address the bad shit being said about me? Every time somebody has some shit to say, Drake responded. But every time, Kendrick ain't say a motherfucking thing about it yet. But I'm willing to keep dropping these songs like that, but you, but you, but you ain't got two seconds to talk about your wife. If that's your wife, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey. Yeah. It's sticks and stones about this shit to me. Man, if I'm Kendrick, man, I'm going to step on his neck. I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to address what needs to be said. And we're going to put this shit to bed. Dead he's ass. Not. He's not, though. He is. He is. He's going he to address this shit. I guess. He's going to put it away. He's not, though. It's like when you up 20 points. You just for the... Shoot another three. When you're up 20 points. Just shoot another three, man. Move to the up team. Move to the up team. Start picks. Start getting points and shit. Them points that add up. Yeah, but you know, I think um, as well from Kendrick, I dropped some sort of evidence. Just put everything to bed. Put everything mm -hmm. away. You know, put that you little evidence. Up. I really can't wait for the post Kendrick though. Like after the beef is over. Braggadocia is going to be on a whole other level. Like, mm. hey, bro, I just took down y'all God. <laughs> like, I forget eat the six God. I need so subtle jabs throughout every album. I don't even care. Just throw it out there because you did it as a victory. Bruh. Yeah. It's Kendrick the King. Say it. Say it. He, pro he proved that he was war ready. Mm. That's the thing. He proved, mm. like, all these lines that Kendrick has talked about over the years – of somebody try me, yada yada, this, this, and that. He finally said, Oh, I have somebody, and I'm gonna go for the big fish. I want the big one. So yeah, he, he solidified his number one spot. I'm so happy. I'm so happy this you're happy twin. Thank you. I'm Thank so you. happy that I'm so happy uh -huh. I'm so happy your king finally got a win in this life. Bro, a a a 14 year old me right now. Is just happy because it's like mm. high power. Throw your threes in the air. <laughs> this, nigga, this nigga actually can he actually can claim TDE again. It's crazy. Like yo, ah. I can, I'm a claim PG Lang now, bro. PG Lang, let your nuts hang. Like dog, like what we talking about? No, yeah. you know what's the crazy line? What does OVO stand for? Other vaginal option. Oh yeah, that shit crazy, bro. I said, huh, <laughs> huh? <laughs> what you mean, Kendrick? Yo, trying to strike a chord, probably like A minor. A minor. It's crazy, he not man. like us. He not like us. Sixty nine. <laughs> yeah, I think he is sixty nine. God. Sixty nine. <laughs> God is wild. Yeah, that shit crazy. But hey, man, that's the that's the beef. So we'll see how that shit goes. Um, moving on. Mar, how you feel about Eminem announcing a new album, man? Bro, come on now. <laughs> Let's not. Extend bullshit. I don't care. He can keep it. Damn. Don't M do not drop another album on me. Wow. Please. Protect your legacy for what it is. I'm not even a huge Eminem <laughs> fan. Just stop. Legacy. Like, yeah. can we just be honest? Somebody gets fucked. Yeah. Somebody cares. Do not give me wrong. Care Somebody cares. Just... Ah, man, this shit ain't hitting like it used to, bro. Not 2024 enough. has been a really great year for music. I don't need it to start going downhill now. Stop M. <laughs> M, you can stop. Chance the Rapper. It's okay. You, you don't yeah. need this. There's yeah. people that are coming out of the cut that I'm like, yeah, it's a good year for music. I can't wait till we review that shit, boy. That Chance the Rapper shit. Because <laughs> this shit better be hot, boy. It better be hot. Fresh off of the divorce? Crazy. But yeah, nah, I'm okay without him. Right. Well, uh, moving on. So we got a fan who gets carried away at Stunner Girls show. So I got a video for y'all, man. Oh, okay. Stunna girl. What's up, buddy?
Yeah. Listen, I'm not mad at you, bro. I'm not. I saw it too. I get it, bro. You want to see how soft that motherfucker was? I get it, bro. I ain't. I ain't. Did he him. deserve that though, y'all? <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, bro. <laughs> he was tweaking, bro. You should have did that. Bro. You know, like that's yeah, the way tweaking. things should be. You know what I mean? Like, bro, control yourself. Control your hands, bro. Control like, yourself. hey, that ass was big. Do not get me wrong. He saw the opportunity and thought nobody was gonna peep, or she was gonna peep who did it. <laughs> but uh <laughs> hey man, you know, protect black women, bro. For real. <laughs> the man said, Not for real man. He it's jumped off stage and stood on business and said, Hey, in your forehead, bro. <laughs> bro, you gonna hit my girl? Do. Bro, he co- he got a couple lashings, bro. They, they public humiliation. Bring him back. <laughs> <laughs> bro, yeah, the sound, that's the thing. You heard the sound of fist to back me. You know bro. what I mean? Like <laughs> They put Crazy, the bro. On that nigga. I mean, yeah. look, man, he deserved it. You know, you can't be touching bitches like that, especially if that's not hey. your girl, man. Especially yeah, if it's not your girl. You know? No, nah, bro, you no. can't just do that, bro. Disrespectful, bro. Like I got it. one more for y'all, though, man. Let me what see up? it. Let me see it. So they've been talking about these black athletes getting with white women now. Oh, wow. So before we get into the video, what do y'all think Wait, about what that? What happened? Yeah, the, all the people in the NFL draft. Women. Uh, the most oh, recent guys man. in the NFL draft all oh, have oh, like white topic. women as like their girlfriends or like. I love this topic. I love this topic. Yeah. I have a topic. I have so, what question. y'all think about it before we watch the video? Okay. One thing I need y'all niggas to realize about these situations where a lot of NFL draftees or or players that who play professional football have white wives. Understand, majority of these people who go to these schools are mainly made made up of predominantly white people. So if I'm going to fucking school in Wisconsin, North Dakota, wherever the fuck, like Alabama, bro, I, I'm not trying to be that person, but bro, you thought like black people are going to be the majority of these campuses? And then, I, then at the same time, it's like, you know, people, like women know the game, you know, at a point. So if a white woman feel like, oh, so-and-so and so is, is here. Oh, hey, bro, like, sex is a game, just like football is a game. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes women want what they want. So at a point, if it's the white women capitalizing on the football players, I'm not even trying to make this like a black woman versus white woman thing. But at a point, I even to recognize how 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 does this African nigga who's 300 pounds and 6'8", meet this white woman is like because of where he goes to school at and hey if it's a more strategic game being played we're not playing the game good enough then you see what i'm saying we ain't playing the game good enough so it's like i, I guess i am mad at the visualization of what of how consistent it is but i do think there's a good number of black people who are who play in the nfl who don't have white wives or who don't have white girlfriends but hey man like I guess I'm just on, on a on a tow line like hey like what you like, mm-hmm. but recognize what you like is gonna be viewed in, at a certain like capacity. Leave that up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I feel like they the the white girls are a product of opportunity. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna hold you. Like these schools are predominantly white. Mm. You know what I mean? If this is what you were around, you know, human nature. We go, we gonna go for what we see. You know what I mean? Um, like on one side, I don't want to believe that every dude maliciously was like, "I gotta get me a white girl." It's you never know? like that, bro. I'm like sorry. I don't want to feel like some that. of them niggas be like that though. That, that, yeah, that not, is true. Not I'm not saying that there all aren't yeah, not black dudes out there who feel ex- exactly that and like they're trying to build this image and that's the image they want to put for show. Some those those young dudes who just got drafted, bro, they've never had money. They, you know what I mean. They never really had this money. There's certain things that come with it, you know. And like I, I've had black women ask me about this recently, and they're like, "Why, why are they even acting like this?" The um, like I know somebody who follows like Grand Wizard Chat, and they're like. Oh yeah, I'm gonna unfollow this. This is um, misogynistic. Oh, I'm just like give her some flowers. I'm like, damn, she tapped in, but never mind. But she's like, it just feels really misogynistic because they talk about like the milk queens and the white girls, and it's like, yeah, that's a thing. It yeah. makes even some guys who like are like me, and I'm reading. I'm just like, ah, all right, Granny, 
all right, I'm gonna need you to chill because it's not like it's her days. Chill out, chill out, yeah. man. Chill out. I have my days, but <laughs> <laughs> I have my days where I be like, y'all, Grandy, talk that talk. But um, nah, I'm pro black. Nah, fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> but yeah, nah, man. Like it, it's something you could talk about and realize, and you know, you can voice it, but. What are you gonna do to stop that? I'm just feel like, bro, like you know what I mean. These, these are these be games, bro. And and if the women see they want the opportunity to be with a D one football player or NFL prospect, they're gonna go get get what they want. It's all a game, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm not. I I do understand the visualization that you want more black families receiving these opportunities and black women to be with these strong, powerful black men. Blah 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 blah. But at the same time. You gotta understand the access to the women that they might have in, in those situations might not be what you think it is. It's probably definitely not a lot of black women. It's definitely probably not. It's probably more, a lot more white women. And that's just that's what it is, bro. Like, that's what, what, it's, what it's, is, it's, been. it's really unfortunate, but like white women are the symbol of success to these athletes. So when they get with these white women, they feel like they really accomplished something, you know. And I think another thing that y'all kind of not mentioning is how. A lot of black people, black men specifically, treat white women like they're golden. A lot of black men really desire to be with white women. They really are fantasizing over white women because it's so taboo. It's so, you know, culturally and racially divisive to do that. So a lot of men have that fantasy. They want to get with the white woman. So what's the what's the, what's the more of the issue? The black men who are already being scrutinized for dating their white women, pursuing an interracial relationship just to expand their knowledge, or the white women seeking a black man, knowing the the racial connotation that they have. But I feel like we're we're, we're as black people or as black men specifically are gonna deal with that shit regardless of who we date that's not black. Asian women, white women, Hispanic women, there's always the stereotype, there's always a situation that we gotta look at look at differently when it's like. I might just generally fuck with her more than most people. I might just generally see this relationship as something that's beneficial to me. It might not have to do with any type of success story or alter the motives that the fact that she's a white woman. But, you know, because of the racial background and history, we can't even end a racial date without it looking like, oh, we're no. going to a moral code. But let's look at it like this. You got two women. They both bad as fuck. They yes. both thick as hell. Yes. It's like how you like them. Yeah. But one is white, and the okay. other one's dark skin. Okay. So, who you picking, bro? The, the the one that fits my needs personally. I'm just saying, like, who you picking though? Just the off one. rip, just off rip, like. Oh, and it's the, the thing. Black, even if you the pick a white one. girl, it the don't black matter. One. You, you know what I'm saying? The but black. who you picking? Just off face value. The black one. Black one. The black one. Okay. This just off the bat. What about you? Picking a black one. I'm picking a black one. Okay. Yeah, you hesitate too much on I'm that. I'm picking a black one, but but I just wanted to see if somebody was going, you know, jump out there a little bit. Everybody no, because because <laughs> naturally yeah, I'm gonna try to baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with what I know. Like naturally, yeah. I'm not gonna just be like jumping, jumping on the ship. I okay, ain't let's switch it up. Let's switch it up. Let's say you just having them for one night. You just finna bust them down real quick. Which one you picking now, nigga? The white woman, if I'm just gonna bust them down, right? All quick. right, there you go, nigga. Yeah, let's be for real. Because that's a whole different context. If you talk about like who I'm choosing, it's the black woman. But if you talk about on on some, I'm not really giving a fuck about you. Yeah, the white woman does. You feel Preparation, me? So, my brother. That's how they feeling. That's how they feeling. So let's get into this video. Preparation, my brother. All right. <laughs> Why are all these black college athletes that are getting drafted having white women? What's going on? I am going to tell you as someone that is friends with a lot of D1 football players and D1 basketball players, I'm going to tell you because they have told me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I get into this, I wanna make it clear I'm only into black women. I'm just telling you what they have told me. My man said, bro, how many white women have you seen do the Meg Thee Stallion Challenge? And he said, excluding the ones that think they're two shades away from being Lotto. I said, probably only one. He said, okay. Y'all, five of my guys that play on division one power five football teams and they start, they were like, goody, you know the type of NIL deals we got. One of my men said, bro, I was messing with this black girl. She heard about the deal I got and started to request money, Apple Pays and Cash Apps, for her hair and nails. I said, oh shit. My other friends were saying, bro, I would try to take her out to Chipotle, Cava, this and this and that. 
she would get mad talking about why are we going to steakhouses? You're good for it. I said, oh shit. They were like, bro, the white women, they're down to go and get a cup of coffee, go, go and get some fucking ice cream. My friends were like, bro, the white women we're dating, they pay for a lot of our stuff. I said, what do you mean? They said, bro, they know that we're making some money, but while we're at practice or we're at camp, they got us our favorite cava bowl, double chicken, right? Waiting for them to come out of practice. My friends are telling me these girls are getting their group projects done, getting their essays done, online tests done, on time. I said, wait, what? I said, bro, what about maintenance? There's no way y'all not pay for her hair, nails, bags, her lifestyle. He said, bro, first of all, my girl will get her own Starbucks and even get me one. But if I want to be nice, I'll get her something, you know, from Starbucks. And they were like, hair and nails? They don't even care about the nails, really, you know? And if they do it, they do it themselves. Sometimes, I, you know, I pitch in. And I was like, all right, what about hair? They were like, bro, she's white. She just brushes it. We're flat on it. She wants to be special. So Jesus Christ, you guys are saving a lot of money. <laughs> one of my men said this. He just got drafted. He said, bro, I was dating a black girl. Now I'm dating a white girl. I'm about to marry her. He said, the difference between the black girl and the white girl, the biggest difference is the white girl knows when to shut the fuck up. I said, God damn. <laughs> Listen, this is what they told me. Do with the information as you please. If it takes me 10 to 15 years to find a black woman that's compatible with me, that's what I'm going to do. But this is what they told me. So it's, it's, it's the perception of the relationship. It's the what are you willing to deal with, then what not deal with. Even in like, are, are you saying we just should be dating white women because they're easier to deal with? Sometimes like, it's like, bro. Maybe, maybe the easy, maybe maybe what's easy for you might not be what's best for you. Sometimes you need a challenge. Sometimes you need somebody to challenge you with your ideals. Sometimes you gotta understand a foundational piece ver versus something that is just gonna hold the wall for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta know who, who's really spiritually and physically and mentally here for you as a black person or here for you as a man versus like what's what what's convenient because now if you want you a mommy or a maid or you mm -hmm. want you a bitch that's gonna take care of take care of thing it takes the masculinity out of like what the fuck we doing when when a bitch is just not not expecting or not wanting more like i i get it i don't want to i don't want to be this one that's want to go out and got them roof crisps every night but i got them not mad at my woman expecting a certain level of quality out of me just as much as I expect a certain level of quality out of her. Like, it's give and take in this shit. But at a point, I'm, we're not just dating white women because we should not be dating white women just because they're easy. And they shut the fuck up. Like, there's like, there's a part where you could treat a man like a man and feel appreciated and you could treat a woman the same way and it's, and we're still black at the end of the day. Like, Man, you know I haven't seen you in that bag in a long time, Mark. No, bro, because it's because, bro. Bro, you know, I'm, I'm black power and the bees on, on the back, you know what I'm saying? Like, big tattoo, beat like, like Hey, 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 don't make a game. Don't make a game. Don't make a game. It's only gay if you make a game. Don't make a game. Like, the tattoo is there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I read that. And then another thing, too, though, bro, I feel like a lot of these guys, they forget that sometimes they have to do work within themselves. They don't do that. It's not always about the woman. Sometimes it's you. Nobody's doing work. You're not the man that you need to be to attract the woman that you want to see. Exactly. And if you don't like doing the work, that's cool. But stop. Always wanting the easy route in your dating experiences, bro. I like, bro, just, just give us somebody who's gonna hold you accountable, make you better. Cause I feel like if we just complacent and she's just cool with me being the way I am and not changing for the better, I mean, hey, do that. Get get you a yes man, nigga. For real though, cause like some of the white women, they don't really like you like that. They really don't. And it's like, I need y'all to realize that just cause just cause just cause she give you some coochie and buy you Starbucks does not mean she's your she's she believes in you. Yeah, yeah, nah, you just there my, for man was me, my man was irritating me. I mean, he might not be the one who's saying it, but it's just be like, bro, shut up. All of y'all. Like, yeah, y'all, y'all like the easiness, man. That's what y'all like. That's that's go crazy, man. He ain't, it's easy. Y'all got a little money now. Yeah. She don't care. But you know, when she puts you on the child support, don't say nothing. I'm just, I'm just because you're gonna find one that's better out here in these big rich parties, all this stuff. Then she gonna find out, she gonna, you know, throw you on that support, my boy. Because she, she was easy, right? She ain't, gonna know, she ain't gonna know you like the that's one. The that thing, that's the crazy thing because, like, the white women they use it, they use sex as like a, a financial tool, you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. they know what they have and they know yeah. what with that. Us yeah. as black people, we really don't like. Use it in a way that's that cap, way. bro. No cap, bro. Right, come on, bro. Right. You're using it for the wrong things. You know, black women. You know what I'm talking all, about. Not all, let's but you know what I'm talking let's about. Get that straight. Not all. Not all. Not all. Okay. But some of these black women are using their body for the for, money. For what money? money. Yeah. For what? For for what? For the money. For what type? What is the money being used for? Who knows? Exactly. It's for hair, nails, BS.
True. The white women, what we're using that money for is generational wealth and growth. No. That's the thing. No, no. Yes. No. Yes. But that's what I'm saying. Mm. That's what I'm saying. You're using your second year thing for the actual bigger picture of stuff. Mm. Like you talking about the black girls. Oh, yeah, just my hair and my nails. Nah, you ain't even trying to like show me the way to grow and develop if that was the case. Not all. Like I said, I love my black women. But yeah. the ones that are out here who are like the side pieces for these guys. You ain't doing nothing. You saying than... that they using it better? Is that what you saying? Who's using the white it? White women are using their body better for what they're trying to do. You're trying to get with an athlete. You oh, know what you're trying to get in the end. That's what I'm saying. Like that's the thing. Y'all want to? Oh, like, I want. I want that. You don't like it, but that's really the facts of it. You trying to get with these dudes because they gonna they can pay for your hair, your nails, and other BS. Some of them can't do it though. What some like, of them? Some of them okay. niggas not gonna be uh, successful one day. Hey, but they okay. don't know that. So, so I don't know if it's just that. Because really, if she really wanted picture. security and she wanted generational wealth, she would just stay with a white guy at that point. But she wanted, no, no. She wanted But that's what we're talking about the the athletes, the ones who are really in the league, mm-hmm. you're making money, you go and get your playtime up. You know what I mean? We're talking about the ones that you know, oh yeah, my boy gonna be in it. Like that's all it is, man. At the end of the day, tomato, tomato. We we mm. know what what's been hist- in history for a long time. A white woman is good for being standing next to a successful or semi successful black man for the benefits of being with a black man. And like I said, hey, it's, it's always going to be a topic in our culture for as long as we exist. Because at a point, interracial dating or mixed re- or mixed relationships or just the perception of a mixed relationship is never going to be accepted a hundred percent within our culture or the culture that doesn't really fuck with us. So, what are the advantages of being with a white woman? I'm if you're an athlete, I'm not getting, I'm, not getting I'm just saying, what are the advantages? I'm not getting to even do this. <laughs> what are the advantages, bro? The Forget advantages? them, bro. I'm, I don't I'm even. Care, bro. Why are they doing it, y'all? Because it's, it's been history, bro. It, bro. I, but I already told you what it was, though. The weapon. Buddy in the video was saying that, like, there's advantages to it. Bro, yeah. Buddy in the video is gay. Because <laughs> they, they don't want anything. But like I said again, I'm, bro, is it? Fuck who the fuck are you want? You know what I'm saying? Fuck who you want. Be with you. Who you want to be with. You want to be with that white bitch. You better love that white bitch. But if you're going to get your black queen, you better love your black queen. Either way, I don't give a fuck. Because at the end of the day, hey, we know who the college football player is going to fuck. So, Damn. you know, right, go, go crazy. If, Tiff, if Tiffany, if Tiffany, who study biology, give you the crazy head, bro, hey, I, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and tell you nothing different. I know for a fact, when you turn, you turn over in the morning, that's life. All I can say is, Nah, it's crazy. Fuck them, but don't cuff them. That's all I'm gonna say. Man, big big mama ain't, ain't gonna ain't gonna approve of that shit. Yeah. So you feel me? Just want big mama. Let me know. Fuck big mama. <laughs> just saying. Fuck big mama. Your, your grandma and your mama ain't gonna approve you. You you bring it home, Rebecca. They ain't home. gonna know. Like, shit, yeah, no, it's crazy. <laughs> shit, they, they, know. <laughs> they ain't gonna know. They ain't gonna know. Uh, they know. Nah, bro. They gonna ever. They gonna know. They gonna know. Who's gonna know? <laughs> they gonna know. They gonna know. Yeah, so, crazy. But hey, man, that's another episode for y'all. Episode 139 is in the books. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate the newcomers. Appreciate Thank you. Y'all yeah, like this video. Appreciate keep that, subscribing. Appreciate and we're going to keep throbbing. Yeah. Y'all got anything else y'all want to tell the people? Real Maddie Pod, Kendrick One. And then. Fuck, fuck Kendrick. Um, <laughs> Goddamn. Smoky Weed. Got the damn mic in his fucking throat, Listen, y'all. Fuck. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Smoke weed, kiss your wife, kiss your baby, and then follow her, Matt. Follow us on all our platforms Insta, YouTube, TikTok, all that good shit. And um, yeah, man. Peace. Real Matic Podcast.